guys welcome to my channel my name is Modupe and I'm a youtuber based in Lagos Nigeria I make um, I make videos about poetry poetry business agriculture lifestyle so if you're a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by again and if you're a new viewer a new subscriber um, this is what I do basically on this channel make content about um, poetry farm poetry business so it's been like um like when last of that was at the farm I've, I've probably not made a poetry video in some weeks now and that feels somehow but we are back again so today um i just want to show you our birds our old layers that are over a hundred weeks old so you see what a bird that is over a hundred weeks old look like um, these birds, they are progressive. So if you've seen my video where I said, um, where I introduced all our flock, they are our progressive flock. They are the first batch of um, birds we got at this farm. And they are currently 103 weeks old. I actually wanted to make this video when they were 100 weeks, but I wasn't around. I wasn't uh, able to make the video. But this week, they are 103 weeks old. So... I'll just show you what they look like. I'll tell you their production percentage. I'll show you what their eggs look like. So you have an idea of what um, what an old bird is like. Usually they'll say that um, old layers are from 74 weeks. So imagine that this one are over 100 weeks. And of course they're still producing. Of course not just as great. So I'll just show you all that now. So let's, let's see our birds. Um, yeah, let's just see our beds. Yeah, so these are these are our beds. They are actually occupying um, the whole of this line, the whole of this line. So this is one side, one side here, and and the other side there. These are all their drinkers. They have three of them. So this line of cages, we have about we have twelve cages, twelve sets of cages on this line and of course they should take um typically 12 line of cages should take at least a thousand and two hundred birds so these birds are 103 weeks old to see what they look like i'm going to weigh some of them so you have an idea of the weights but this is what they look like um typically i'll show you just random in no particular order so these are our birds you see that um feathers the feathers are leaving most of their necks and that's the thing about about layers when they start getting old uh okay see see what this looks like lost a lot of feathers so these birds they arrived at our farm last year last year march march of 2022 and we stocked um we stocked about a, a thousand three hundred of them currently we have we have um 975 so yeah we've lost a few of them and of course they were the first set of first set of birds we got at the farm so they are more like our experimental our experimental birds and they've been laying for i think they started laying at 20 weeks so you can imagine that now that they are 103 weeks they've laid for so so many numbers of weeks we sold so many of their eggs and all that so yesterday i mentioned that they are currently um 974 okay i think 975 birds in total and yesterday they had um they had 19 crates i think just 19 crates so their production percentage as at yesterday they've not picked today's egg as at yesterday is 58 percent so 58 percent is not great for me it means that um i have to sell these birds in the next one week or two weeks it's time to sell them they have they have served me for for so long and it's time to just sell them off so yeah these are our progressive flock 103 weeks old 
I'll see if I can go around more. Just show you what they look like. Typically, a typical 100 weeks old bird. This is what they look like. So, of course, some people will probably sell their old layers at um, at 70 something weeks or even 80 weeks. I had to keep mine for this long because um, they were still producing well, even at 80 weeks. They were doing 75%, 80% production. So that was why I didn't sell them at that time. But now at over 100 weeks, they are not, they are not producing um, as much. And of course, considering the cost of um, considering the cost of feed now, it's not wise that I'm feeding them with this kind of expense, and they are not, and I am not able to make so, so much money off them. So a bag of feed currently goes for above um, above um, above ten thousand naira. That's about okay, yeah, above ten thousand naira. So imagine cost of labor, medication, water. And every other expenses that has to be calculated and they are producing 19 crates which is sold for about 2400 naira a crate so do the math i'm probably i'm probably making a profit of less than um about 8000 naira thereabouts on them because they eat they eat four bags of feed every day so let's do the math of the feed and the eggs i'm able to sell that they produce i'm able to sell it doesn't it doesn't it's not wise that I am still keeping them at this age so I'll be selling them off very soon but this is what they look like so now let's check the weight of some of them yeah let's do that now anyway so I'm just going to pick um, random random birds and take their weights because of course I also need this information for the people who are going to buy them my scale is actually a very small one, but please, I think we'll be able to make do with it. So the weight of this one is, um, I think we have about 1.6, 1 1.6, 1 1.6 kg. So let's take another, another bird. Yeah, 1.6 kg. Okay, so this is another one. This is like 1.6. 1.6 1.7 so yeah we'll take another we'll take more i think i want to do like maybe about five of them try and take all the feathers of this one has has gone and it weighs better than the others this is like 1.9 kg 1.9 kg you see all right so let's take another one this aggressive bread <laughs> yeah so this is this one way about 1.9 kg so this is another one so this way about 1.6 also and this one still has very complete feathers and all and this is 103 weeks old so of course of course all of them will not lose their feathers some of them will still have feathers just like this one so yeah the weight of this one is um 1.7 okay 1.1.62 okay. So this one weighs. <laughs> this one doesn't want to stay old, but the weight is like 1.9 or 2 kg. So yeah, we took um we took about five or six six um six of them randomly across the whole cage. So this is they are occupying the whole of this line the whole of from this end here to that end there and like i said there are 12 cages 12 sets of cages on this row so 970 75 of them and their eggs like i mentioned 
these are old layers. So the wonderful thing about old layers eggs is that their eggs are usually, right now, their eggs are the biggest I have at the farm. And I think that was another reason why I didn't want to, I didn't want to sell them when they were like 80, 90 weeks. Their eggs were the biggest. And of course, as a, as a poultry farmer and one that sells my egg myself, these are some of the things that I'm able to use to to push my other eggs. So this this set of birds, these old layers, they give me the biggest the biggest eggs I have on this farm. The eggs are from this set, this set of birds. But, okay, yeah, and their eggs. Okay, this is like 66 gram. Let's see more of them. Okay, if it's, And this is 74 grams so i'll just put uh, more eggs on this on this scale so we'll see what the weight is like so this is 77 see that 77 gram <laughs> whoa and this is 92 gram you see that so this of course another reason why i held on to like i mentioned i held on to this set because we currently produce um, the biggest eggs at the farm you still see other sizes so this is 83 yeah it also doesn't mean that they all produce very huge eggs like this sometimes they still produce smaller sizes but majority of them so even when we pick their eggs in a day we are probably seeing just five pieces, just five pieces of egg are small. The rest are very big eggs. It's feeding them with that amount. For, they eat for, like I said, they, they eat four bags of um, four bags of feed every every day. So they eat that number of um, eggs of of feed rather, and they produce what they are producing is just almost as as if they are just producing to to feed themselves so it's not it's no longer profitable for me and currently i've been speaking to some people who would come get the birds the price i am getting i have still not found someone with um, a very good price for me so that's why i'm still holding on i've not sold them but of course i'm going to sell them look at this ones here they've not produced anything today Look at this one too. They've not produced any egg today. No egg here. So many of them are, long, are no longer producing. And even if they produce, they are not producing daily any longer. They're probably they're probably now producing like um like maybe four times a week, which is not profitable for me. You understand? So this are uh, these are the birds lots just now 975 of them so they are going to be sold soon so their eggs remember i mentioned their eggs oh, look at this egg here this one is this one is gone already soft shell so their eggs are just so big and one of the reason i am still still holding on to holding on to them so that's about it this is what um this is what layer beds of over a hundred weeks look like. You've seen their weight. They don't weigh so much like when they were younger. And their feathers, the feathers are leaving their body mostly then. Of course, their production rates are significantly reduced. I mentioned that these birds here, this set of birds, this set of old layer birds, currently, um, as of yesterday, they produce them. Um, their production percentage as at yesterday was 58%, I think 58.6 or thereabouts. So that's about it for today. And look at them. They are quite just um, the whole of this place here. The whole of this line of cage. So yeah, that's about it for... So yeah, that's that's about it for today. That's about my my over a hundred weeks old layer layer birds. I've told you about 
their age, um, yeah, their name first, they are the progressive flock, their age 103 weeks as at this week, and um, their production percentage 58.5%, 58, 58 their number, they are 975, they are about 975 of them, and what else, the number of feed they eat, they eat four bags of feed every day what else you see that their feathers have all also gone yeah that's about it for one of, oh, for layer birds over a hundred weeks old so thank you for watching again and um reminder to please subscribe on my channel please um, watch other videos please like please share thank you so we'll see you on another video of course another thing is that it feels very great to be at the farm again <laughs> and to be able to record um to be able to make a video on poultry farming again so yeah and um, poultry farmers let me know what age you you feel that layer beds should be sold off what age i am still i still have mine at over 100 weeks so what age do you sell off your layer beds so thank you for watching bye see you on another video